Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, May 27th, 2021, or 5 27 21. It is day four on our schedule. Now, today is two very important days. First, up in the left hand side of our screen, you will see my adorable brother who turns the big 44 today. He's my baby brother, and his name is Rick, but I call him Cardo, and he is my favorite. So, happy birthday to my brother, um, and today is National Grape Popsicle Day. Oh my goodness gracious, grape popsicles. I love popsicles. I love popsicles in the summer. I love popsicles in the winter. I love popsicles in the fall. I love popsicles in the spring. Spring, safe to say, I just love popsicles. But every time I hear this song on Go Noodle, it makes me want a popsicle. So let's hang tight. Let's all stand up and dance to Popsicle. Hey, you. Hey, what? Are you ready? For what? To pop. Pop what? Popsicle. Now stand up, boys and girls. My hands are high, my popsicle. feet are low, and this is how I popsicle. Your hands are high. Are you ready? For what? To pop. Pop what? Popsicle. My hands are high, my feet are low, and this is how I popsicle. Your hands are high, your feet are low, and this is how you popsicle. Popsicle. Pop, popsicle. Popsicle. Pop, popsicle. Hey, y'all. Hey, what? Are you ready? For what? To pop. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you had fun dancing to Popsico. I stayed in my seat just because otherwise all you would have saw was my belly, which would be kind of weird. But now let's find out more about the Popsico. How did it come to be? So here's a book on Epic, and it's super fun. Um, there's fun food inventions. Now we're going to find out about the popsicle in here, but there's other fun food inventions. So if you have time today, you might want to read some more. If your teachers give you independent time and you get to go on Epic, read away. It's good. Look at some of the cool stuff, but first let's have an introduction. Oops. Sorry. I went forward instead of clicking. Now it's being slow. Here we go. Fun food inventions. That mystery ingredient. Quick, what's your favorite food? Tell, tell your neighbor, tell your teacher, what is your favorite food? Mine is not necessarily a food, but it's a drink. I can't survive without coffee. Why? Why is it your favorite food? Well, 
I love the warmth and the taste. Tell somebody, tell your neighbor, make sure you stay at your seats. Tell your teacher, what is your favorite food and why? Well, sure, it's yummy. You'd scarf it out of a dog bowl if you had to. I bet you would. But there's something else. There's a mystery ingredient. Food scientists refer to as fun with a capital F. What creates a high fun factor in food? Often it's a texture thing. Think crispy, gooey, juicy, and fizzy to name a few. How do you eat food also matters. How fun it is looking from frozen stuff on a stick. And don't forget the awesomeness that it's in dipping and dunking. How do inventors come up with such foods? Sometimes it's by accident. They messed up. Luckily, they kept their eyes open to life's delicious mistakes. Other times, they were looking to make a fortune, so they just kept working at it until they hit the jackpot. Still, other times, they put the cherry on top of somebody else's good idea. You know what's almost as fun as eating fun foods? Reading about them. So let's dig in. So here we go. Here's some fun foods. Ketchup. Potato chips. Mmm. Bubble gum. Donuts. Fortune cookies. An ice cream sundae was an invention. Pez. Ooh. Microwave popcorn. Microwave dinners. Graham crackers. That's essential to make a s'more. And popsicles. So let's find out more about this delicious, icy, cool treats. In 1905, 11-year-old Frank Epperson was relaxing on his porch in San Francisco, California. He was mixing himself a soda, which is something people did back then. He was stirring his cup of water and drink mix with a stick, and then he went inside without drinking it. He forgot to come back and clean up before bed, and he couldn't even blame TV. That night was really cold. The next morning, Frank found that the soda had frozen. He yanked on the stick and voila! The soon-to-be famous Epsicle ice pop was born. Okay, not quite. Frank had some fun making Epsicles for his friends and his neighbors, but he didn't get serious for another 17 years or so. By then, he had his own kids. They were always asking for popsicles. So the story goes. Epperson realized that had a better ring to it. So in 1924, Epperson got a patent for his invention. By then, he knew exactly what it took to make a perfect ice pop. The crystals had to be nice and even. The treat had to be just hard enough not too drippy. It had to not fall off the stick. Although, do you find in the summer they seem to fall off the stick anyway? Especially if you get the twin pops. You're eating one and the other one collapses on the floor. A year or so later, Frank Epperson sold the rights and the name to his invention. And then he basically spent the rest of his life snack smacking his forehead and yelling, why, why, why? Popsicle Pops went on to become one of the most successful treats ever. These days, more than 2 billion of them are sold each year. There's a picture of the inventor, Frank Epperson, enjoying one of the frozen goodies with his granddaughter, Nancy Epperson, in 1973. 1973! That's the year I was born. My brother was born four years later, that cute guy on the front, in 1977. What flavor popsicle do you like best? All right, boys and girls, let's complete our morning with our Lorraine School Creed. We will strive to be the best that we can be. We will work together in this community. 
with respect for each other, we will follow every rule and show pride in ourselves and our Lorraine School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all right, boys and girls, have an outstanding day. Enjoy learning and always do your best. Perhaps have a popsicle today. Do you know you can use any container to make a popsicle? You can make mini popsicles in an ice cube tray. Delicious. One of my favorite summertime popsicles is getting watermelon because Watermelon is delicious. And then squeezing out the juice and making watermelon pops in ice cube trays. All right, boys and girls, be creative today. Have fun. Until next week, have an amazing day, boys and girls.